What I'm doing here is I'm just stacking rocks up until they form a peak. And every half turn, these peaks increase about half a foot. I've got rebar in the center there, which has markings on it, which helps me measure that. Once I had these peaks constructed, I was able to easily just bridge them together. Bridging these peaks together really wasn't too difficult. As the wall raised up, I would use smaller rocks and smaller rocks kind of gave me more control of the smoothness of it. And it was kind of like drawing a straight line from one point to another. While I was constructing these walls, I used a little bit of mortar to hold these rocks together. But the idea here was to hide as much mortar as possible. I figured if I made these walls one layer thick with rocks, I could just glue them together from the inside with mortar. And what you're seeing here is the first layer of mortar I applied to the inside. Once the first layer dried, I applied the second layer. And I especially made sure the rocks on top were going to hold just so whenever we're leaning on it and stuff, I, I didn't want them coming loose. But now I'm going to get ready to add cement to this just to make the structure uh, very strong so it can hold soil. I used four bags of cement for the first layer and the goal here was to fill in most of the empty space in between the rocks. So far so good. It's definitely durable. Rocks are on there good. I'm going to clean up a lot of this mortar. Definitely needing to cake it up pretty thick in here in the center. But it looks like it's going to hold. Oh yeah. So let me get one more layer on here and pretty sure that'll do it. Actually, before I add another layer of cement, I'm going to take this PEX tubing right here and I'm going to run it underground and right up through the center there just to get it ready for some automated irrigation. More on that in another video. Alright, so I just used one bag of cement and it covered from right here all the way to right here. And I have six more bags of cement, so I'm hoping that'll do the job. I still have a lot more to spread on here, but let's see. The easiest method that I've discovered so far is to take some gloves and just rub this stuff into these big pockets. The trowel will get it nice and smooth, but with this kind of surface that I'm dealing with here, the trowel is hard to get into the, the cracks and crevices and get, you know, the, the handle gets in your way and stuff. But this, it's way easier. You just take it, swipe, usually stays in, and it's pretty quick. It looks like seven bags did it. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to clean up a lot of this mortar and cement on the uh, rocks here and then all on the inside here. And I'm going to loosen up the dirt to help with uh, water drainage. And then we'll move on to the next step, which is filling this thing up with some soil. Alright, so I've cleaned up a lot of the mortar and a lot of the cement and mortar on the ground right here and loosened it up. Now I'm going to use a hugel culture method to uh, fill in a lot of the spaces here. And if y'all don't know what hugel culture is, it's where you put in any organic matter like uh, rotten wood, um, wood chips, compost, all that stuff just to help build the soil and it's also a good filler if you don't have this much soil it, it costs a lot of money to buy soil to fill something this size right here so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some some mulch here's a lot of the mulch here I'm gonna grab a good bit of that and uh, layer it with uh, unfinished compost the first layer of mulch is in there's the first layer of unfinished compost and here's the next layer of mulch the second layer of unfinished compost is in. Now I'm just going to add a thin layer of mulch and then I'm going to top the rest off with some topsoil that I'm going to dig up. 
But this stuff should eventually start sinking down as it breaks down and compressing. And we're just gonna add more topsoil as, as we go. But I don't expect this thing to uh, do too well um, right away. Just because uh, a lot of this stuff isn't broken down. Uh, the soil hasn't been built yet. It's March, it's kinda late to set something like this up. We spent most of our time cutting into this property but uh we're gonna see how it does anyway with uh what it has in it anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get that top soil soils in it's looking good hey if y'all like this video hit that subscribe button and give us a like and i'll see y'all in the next video